Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And we have a black Jordan box, plain box. You've probably seen this a lot on the channel. Gold Jumpman in the middle. And if we flip it around, it is an Air Jordan 1 Low G. G actually stands for golf, if you're not familiar with the kind of sneakers they've now been making for the golf course for players. And this is a Starfish Black White. If you're in the Jordans, that may sound familiar. Men's size 12. Retail not posted on the side, but was $140 US. If you haven't seen any of my golf reviews, you do get plain paper on the inside, but they include the Nike golf card with some footwear, year, warranty information, and stuff like that. We're not going to read through that, obviously. That'd be boring as hell. And this particular pair of Jordan 1 Low Golfs released on June 1st, 2022 for 140 US. And this is what we are looking at today. So, if you are not a huge Jordan 1 fan, and you're not quite sure where this color is inspired from, it is the Shattered Backboard. You probably saw that in the title. But the Shattered Backboards were originally a Jordan 1 High OG Retro, and they released on June 27th of 2015. It was actually inspired by a 1985 exhibition game in Italy, where Jordan had dunked the ball and actually shattered the backboard. So, what we have is a nice makeup of orange, black, and white. Some people could say they are kind of like a Halloween theme, but this is a really, really big colorway in terms of what Jordan brand has used because the ones that came out in 15 gained a lot, a lot of hype. They're very coveted, they're very sought after. And from when they released, they were probably one of the best, if not the best quality Jordan ones we've seen in a long, long time. You have two different mixes of materials on here. You have like a black nubuck coming across the upper paneling along the toe and eyelets, which goes up here to the top. The eyelets are just plain eyelets. There's no ring or kind of like little overlay. It's just straight through the fabric. Then you have a pebbled, tumbled style leather. The quality isn't amazing on these. I mean, the new buck is kind of cool, but the, the leather is stiff. It feels a little rough, and I'd like it to see a little bit better and a little softer. Remember, you are wearing these on a course to play a sport. Even though it's golf and it doesn't require as much movement as, say, like soccer, football, basketball, whatever, baseball, It's. I still think that this should have been a little bit more flexible, a little bit more give for the player. Over here is one of the most interesting things is they decided to put this kind of like patent leather style swoosh now this if you remember if you look at the texture real close and you see how it has that lines if you guys remember the recent shattered backboards they released the 3.0s that was taken an in inspiration from that shattered backboard shoe so let alone the color and now you have a little bit of material that was taken from that patent leather pair they released in that same texture so kind of interesting to see that i like that they did that though midsole and white with white stitch in the contrast and there's the big change in the outsole. Instead of your traditional Jordan 1, you have a little bit of a mix of now this new studded pattern and golf stamped here in the middle with the swoosh and a little bit different of a circle part under your forefoot. I will give it a little bit of an angle so you can kind of see the depth there of the tread. So remember, this is a golf shoe. It is meant to be worn on the course, but because it's a hybrid shoe, you can wear it on and off the course. I prefer these. I'm not a golf player, but if I did play, it would definitely be this shoe because the fact that you don't have to bring an extra pair of spikes with you, you can wear these on the course and then take them off the course, go to lunch in the clubhouse or whatever you want to do. I like how that's a better aspect to me and more versatile. So that's just my preference. And on the back, you have this kind of new buck material in orange. You have the Wings logo stamped there in white with the Air Jordan. Coming around to the medial side, same detailing with that patent leather from the 3.0 shatter backboards. New buck pebbled tumble style leather. And coming up, oh, you do have perforation on the toe box as well. This is also a suede new buck material. So be careful in the wet. These could get, you know, I don't know if they're going to get water stained, but suede I know does not like water too much. There is a look at the tongue in that nylon backpack style fabric. Up top, you do have another slight change. Instead of the Air Jordan logo tag, you have a Jordan Jumpman with the golf underneath in white and orange. And then your insole changes a little bit too with the Jumpman and golf written underneath, and that is black and orange as well. So, like Jordan 1s, I usually like to go down half a size, that's just me. I have a more average to narrow width foot, it has a higher arch, so I don't have a very wide foot. I go down half a size, I felt like they run pretty big, but this is also a golf shoe, so depending on how snug you want it, for me, I would want it not tight, but I'd want my toe kind of near the end, in terms of like, not right up, right up against it, but near there. And uh, these were a little snug, so I will say go true to size maybe, but you might want to go half a size down because the padding isn't too big. That's the best sizing I can do recommendation for these. You only get one pair of laces, which is the black flat laces you saw. No extra accessories or anything like that, besides that little card you got in the box, which is just 
you know, a warranty. It's not really an accessory or anything included. But other than that, let me know what you think of these down below. I think they're a solid buy for anybody who plays golf or anybody who wants something a little bit different in their collection to add to a Jordan 1. Other than that, I thank you guys for stopping by. I'll try to answer, but answer back to everybody in the comments. I thank you all for the support. I hope you stick around. I have more good stuff coming shortly, and I hope everybody has a good day. All right?